right, I'm just going to try and do a quick demo of how I do a winged liner on my um, wrinkly folds. Okay, so I'll just do a quick close up there, you can see. I'm going to do it on this eye because I think that that's the hardest eye. And my other eye's slightly different, it has its folded in a different place. But uh, So I'm going to do it there. I'm going to use this one that I've got here. It's a oh, it's all reversed. I know that, but um, it's a Fuera one, and it's got um, double ended because they're slightly curved, which I like. Okay, so I've got to figure out which one's the one for this eye. <laughs> Hang on. Um, no, that's the other side okay so it's the other one right so and when you pull them off um i don't know if you can see that easily but it's like ah there you go that shows it and um, it's like a little v with a cut out bit because that allows you to um match it up with your things anyway i'm supposed to be showing you instead of talking sorry all right so Basically, I'm doing this absolutely. I've got nothing on my face apart from my moisturizer from last night. So, you know, I have done the wrong way because when I turned it round, I had the right one in the first place. But, right, so you get it ready. And basically, what I do is I actually try and keep my eye as as down as possible now i'm going to try and do it just by looking in the video but i might not i might need to uh, do it in here if that's all right right you can see what i'm doing though anyway so basically i'm gonna ignore the fact that i've got folds and stamp it right so you can see it, it's nowhere near perfect right now because it's over the folds and everything if you look I, I did manage to get that quite well but the little cut out bit at the start allows for a bit of leeway on your actual fold and then the next step is to take a normal liner this one is an Ico one um, which I quite like because it's long lasting but it's not waterproof and I my eyes water a lot when I use um, waterproof stuff right next to it. So then my next step is really careful and it takes me blooming ages. So like I'm basically going to go in and with my eyes open, don't shut it. With my eyes open, I'm going to dot in where spaces are. I'm going to bring that. Not very far because I'm going to be washing this off in a minute it's a hair dye um, day for me so here we go right so I'm just dotting it because I'm so wrinkled <clears throat> um I can't do a line oh no um so I'm just dotting it like uh filling it in doing a little bit there Oh my, I sound so northern on these videos. Right, there you go. And I've just, um, it's messy. But here's what I know. People are not going to go this close to your eye and go, Oh, that's a bit untidy, Daisy. Do you know what I mean? They're not going to do that, are they? So basically, let's have a look how that looks in distance. I've got a mirror behind me, you know, as well such a narcissist I don't care oh look I've made a right mess of that anyway um, if you do make a right mess you can uh, just quickly grab a cotton bud don't you you can lick it if you want but if you know if you're doing it on someone else don't lick it dip it in water Right, so I've just took off that messy bit. But basically, all I'd do once I'd put that stamp on is, like, go over my eye a little bit. I don't like um, 
eyeliner right over because my eyes are rubbing teeny as you can see the light little pistols um and uh, um i'd only go part way underneath as well and then do a color or something to make it stand out but what you can see is that the wing actually looks it looks all right um and it's the same on the other one you, you can just stamp it over your crease and yes there'll be bits that don't get the ink from the stamp but don't worry about that um, you can either fill it in or know that those wrinkles are going to be there when you when you're out anyway so it won't matter if you can't see it <laughs> when when you've got your eyes just natural neither can anyone else it's right hope that helps bye